Hey guys, Rouser is here, and we are now into part two of Resident Evil 2, the remake. I've already been to the east side. I tried to help a police officer, um, but I ended up only being able to help half of him. Uh, you'll know what I mean if you watch the last video. Um, I've met up with Marvin, which is a police officer um, who was really uh, beat up and eventually probably going to die. Hi, Marvin. Poor guy. So now I am on my way to find three medallions. I've already found one medallion, the lion medallion, so now I need to find two more. I'm going to be looking everywhere. Uh, I wouldn't do that. Oh my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's there? Better get loaded up for this. How did that happen? Oh, gosh. I can't get in there. I guess that's for later on. Oh no. Oh my. That scared me. Oh gosh. <gasps> Shit. Come on. It takes so much load it takes longer to load. Oh. All right, there's a door. There's nothing else over here. <clears throat> I need to go into the store. Oh boy. Record of events. September 25th, we're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. Same day, one of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply in case of someone snapping under intense stress. The following day, September 26, a mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters, but surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. September 27th, there was another clash on the west side of the station around 1 p.m. Twelve people died and there is only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray in here. David Ford. Okay, so that could tell me that maybe there's, since there's 12 people that have died, 
that there's at least 12 zombies that I'm going to have to uh, kill. Or try to. Okay, I can't get in there. Not yet. Police station, first floor map. Oh man. Great. Ooh, his arm just fell off. I don't know why I keep moving forward as I'm in combat with these motherfuckers, but I don't know if it's my controller because it's been acting funny or not, but that's not cool. Not cool at all. Alright, 109. 106. 103 and 102. Oh gosh. Oh no. Great, now he's left the door open. I'm going to try all of them. <laughs> I'm missing two of the numbers. How many times do I need to shoot you? Are you serious? Okay, finally dead. Storage locker terminal memo. It appears that the keypad to the locker's terminal is missing a few keys. Hmm, number two and number three. I suggest that the person responsible for this mess find some spare keys and fix this right now. You know who you are, bastard. Who else will uh, fuck it up this badly? Okay. So somebody has the keys. Okay, I can't get in there. What the hell? Might as well get this over with.
gunpowder. And this is just a paper telling you how to use the gunpowder. There's not a lot of ammo left around the station, so make good use of any gunpowder you find. Different guns require different ammo, so pay attention when you're combining things or you won't get what you need. All right, so I might have to go back to that. Okay, can I get one sh headshot? Oh, that's just lovely. I'm out of ammo. Crap. Alright, let's try it with the knife. I think he's dead. Operation report. September 28th, 2.30 a.m. It's down to just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. We're not going to make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently, there's a secret tunnel under this place left over from its museum days. I brushed her idea off before, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof there's even a tunnel or that the sewers are infested with zombies, but I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try to find out what I can about that tunnel. Elliot Edward. Yep, and she- Oh god, no. Okay, hopefully he's dead. No ammo, really? Nothing for me? Alright, let's see what's over here. Rookie's first assignment. Okay, this is my first little assignment here. Leon Kennedy, we're putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. <laughs> the key is to your success in the initials of our first names. Input the letters in order of our desk. There are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Make sure you get for them both. Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officers' names, but you figured that out much out, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. Hmm. All right. So we've got... Neil, so that's N. Elliot, that's E. And David, so it should be NED. <clears throat> we will. All right, next. Marvin, Rita, so M, R, and George, M, R, G.
speed loader. Okay. All right, so let's combine that. All right, and I have no ammo. Let's check out the map. I can't get into the safe. And I can't get into this door right here. But that door goes right back to the main hall, so I don't really need to go there anyways. There's the safety deposit room. Hopefully I can get there safely. Because I have no ammo. Okay, wooden boards. It's so dark in this game. All right, let's see, what do we have here? Okay, more gunpowder, that's good. I really need that, more ammo. All right. Film contains evidence. Do not leave out. Okay. So let's use the roll film. Commemorative photo. Okay, I have a feeling this is where I'm going to find another medallion. Possibly. All right, let's just, uh, what's us? Medicinal benefits of herbs. Okay, so this just is basically directing me on how to use the herbs, which I pretty much know how. Humans have used herbs to treat sickness and disease since the dawn of time. In this book, we will explore the three such herbs native to the Arclay Mountains. Green herbs have the ability to heal basic injuries, while blue, blue herbs have long been used to treat poisoning. As for red herbs, while they are visually appealing, they offer no medicinal benefits, or so it was thought until recently. It's well known that combining herbs together produces blends that heighten the herbs' effects, but it has been discovered that red herbs can play a big role when mixed properly. According to one doctor of Asian medicine, mixing blue and red herbs together produces a blend that will strengthen one's constitution. Truly, we have only just begun to realize the full potential of these herbs and their ability to heal the human body. Further research is sure to yield even more fascinating results. All right, so basically I'm going to need to remember to combine blue herbs with red herbs, that is, if I find them. I'm not familiar with blue herbs. Save it up. Okay. Let's use the board. Ha ha. You're boarded in. Oh no. I forgot you were there. I want my knife back. Without wasting bullets. What the hell is up with you? I don't want you coming alive later either.
Okay. I can't use anything for that yet. I guess that's to turn off the air so I can get into the um, shower room. Okay, flame rounds. Really? Portable safe. Press the button to light up its corresponding lamp. Light them all to open the safe. The buttons must be pressed in, in a certain order. Pressing a single button out of order will cause all the lights, all the lights to go out and you will need to start the sequence over. You're still alive? Well, oh, hell no. And you left the door open, bitch. Great, I'm not gonna move this. Hey! Okay, the reason why I backed up because I already knew from, like I said before, I did play the beginning of this game, <laughs> and I already knew that um, a zombie was going to come out of there. Okie dokies. Guess I shall go up. I heard something. I don't know the combination to that yet. Ooh, I got the key. Nice. Oh no. Okay, a little scared. I'm not gonna run right now. There's a door. Let's see if there's anything else down here. To any survivors. Consider this a gift for anyone still unfortunate enough to be alive. Keep your eyes peeled for those creepy fucks that look like they were skinned alive. Lickers, we call them. They're blind as bats, but they're hearing more than makes up for that. So long as you don't run around like a total idiot, guns a blazing, you should be able to slip right by them, probably. Either way, make them make like my grandma and creep around as slow as possible around them, yeah? Everything's so dark. Nah, I don't like this. I remember playing parts of this, but what's up with that doll? 
Oh no, my inventory is full. Well, I don't need the board right now anyways. Hell with it. Okay, I could probably use that too. Well, let's walk around for a minute and see what's going on here. Oh. A library? Alright. Oh, gosh. Ah, Jesus! I just remembered I made a video on the jump scare from that. <laughs> no matter what, I still get scared. Ooh! Yay, hip pads! Neither that. What's this? Some guy's scribblings. Damn, those corporate assholes. They cut me off. After all I've done for them? But if that's how it's going to be, so be it. I'm going to have a little fun of my own as the world goes to shit. I boarded all those filthy pigs up in a steel pen and set some C4. All I gotta do is detonate it, and it's sayonara, suckers. But it's no fun if it's over too soon. So maybe I'll give that one raving loon something to really squeal about. Yeah, maybe I'll give him a little toy and tell him, Kill the guy next to you and I'll spare the others. I wonder what he'll do. You yell about justice and pride, but how many times did you go against me, your own superior? Yeah, you're such a good cop. So good you had to die. Man, this is fun. I need some music for this. Okay. I'd say that guy might be a little crazy. Oh. Okay, I need something. I need like a battery pack or something for that. Oh gosh. There's a cop in there. Oh, one, two, three cops and two civilians, it looks like. Okay, so that's to detonate that room. So I don't have what I need for that yet. More ammo. They don't give you much ammo in this game. Oh, there's something behind there. I don't know what it is. But I'm not liking this. This is scary. Oh, I came from this area. Okay. Look at these piles of liquor shit, or whatever it is. I don't know if they're nests or what. I still need to find three medallions. At least I'm in a room where there's some light. Claire. Oh my. It's Marvin. How fast can you get back here? Why? What's up? I've got something to show you. It's important. All right. I'm on my way. Oh, great. Never mind. I gotta go back.
Oh, that's right, I boarded up that window. Check my map real quick. Oh, I wonder if I can, um... I wonder if I can use that key to get into this room, because this takes me right back to the main, um, hall. Oh, it does! Yay! There you are! Come here! What is it? Take a look. Oh my god, you <gasps> made it! Leon! Yeah! It's Leon. Uh, Kennedy, I think? Oh, uh, the rookie. Thought he looked familiar. We can make it to that courtyard. The second floor, east side. Okay. Thanks, Marvin. I'm on it. Okay, that's it for today. That's part two. There's going to be a lot of parts in this game, because I, like I said, I'm going to try to make each part short that way nobody gets bored um so we're going to end it right here i'm going to have to go save uh or i don't know if i can save them hopefully i can but i need to go get leon so i can get inside where it's a little bit safer thanks so much for watching bye